Be these photographers, be that photographer who doesn't, you know, just walk around going, I'm not going to photograph that thing because I'm, that's not the sort of photography that I do. Because that's, why would you do that? Why would you walk somewhere, be in an environment and just say, I'm not? Be the person who says, I am. Let me see what happens. The great photographers of the past and the present understand that photography is not confined to specific genres, but is the whole art form. And they draw their inspiration from the wide gamut of everything that photography has to offer. When you start doing this in your own images, when you remove the label from you as a photographer and you stop thinking yourself as a street photographer or a landscape photographer or whatever other photography you want to define yourself as, then you open up the, the world of inspiration that can feed and enrich your creative vision. When you start doing this, the benefit is, is it's plain to see. I was talking with a photographer just the other day. We were looking at his work. He does some wonderfully interesting images. They are great to look at. And, and, and there are glimmers within his folio of, of a really interesting way of seeing the world. But often pumped in there are images that are average, that they are, they're, they're run of the mill because they are images that he goes, well, I am a street photographer. I, or I, I think of myself primarily as a street photographer. And you can see those are the images that he's creating because he thinks that's what the street photographers are supposed to create. A portrait photographer may only look to books like this for inspiration about creative expression, how to improve their photography. They may only look at famous portrait photographers, photographers who specialized in portrait photography, forgetting, of course, that those photographers probably had masses of, of appreciation and, and love for images beyond portraiture. And that influenced the way that they, they interpreted their own photography by, you know, in that specific area. So start doing that. Look beyond you know, the, those, those, that very narrow lane of, of things that we get told are the, the, what you should do. You know, that if you want to be a great portrait photographer, you should learn to communicate with people. But what if you became somebody who you know, drew from looking at still life photography, understood how shape and form and, and quietness and subtlety and, and, and exacting composition can influence the way that a, a portrait is, is created. Irvin Penn did this. He, he, you know, graphic design background and all this sort of stuff, and you can see the results in his work. It's okay to have a favorite genre, to photograph in a certain way, to, to like a certain type of subject. And I'm not suggesting that you need to ditch it all. What I'm suggesting is that you need to stop thinking of yourself within these, these labels and 
draw that inspiration from wherever you can find it. I know you can do it because, because you're watching this channel. This channel is all about, you know, discovering new ways of thinking about photography, finding new and exciting photographers to inspire you, to, to bring you into the wider world of photography, to, to get the benefit that a lot of people get from being at art school, for example, and being subjected to so many different types of photography, so many different types of art forms that you would never have tried if you were not, you know, if you're not forced to. Take this inspiration, seek out those interesting photographs that you would never have considered. To discover the one thing that I should have actually been taught at photo school, which I wasn't, I'd like you to click here on this video because it is think, something quite important that you really should know. Thank you ever so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.